How's it going guys, Gilson here and welcome back to Guilty Craft 2.0. Now I am wearing some swanky armor. Uh, I've also got my bound blade which I made last episode or the episode before. It's been a little while since I've recorded um, so I can't remember exactly what I've done. I'm also very slightly sick. Um, I have a sore throat and I got myself a new job so I'm super pooped. But uh, I'm going to make sure to try and get these videos out and I have quite a bit to show you. So, um, where we, where we sort of left off is where, um, my Britannia sort of setup was kind of crap. So I, I made a garden for it. <laughs> so here's where my Britannia setup was. Uh, it was, it was sort of half arsedly put together, but now I've made a walled garden. And using some player sensors and the sort of Japanese styled, like, garden doors, I've made, oh my, some mobs die in here? Some mobs must have died in here when I was making it. Uh, still boots. Oh, sweet. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I've made this sort of garden. Um, this is where I'm going to be doing all my Britannia stuff. Um, I've also kind of sorted out my setup. So what I've done here is I've got these mana spreaders, which are being distributed to the mana distributor, which is then, distribu then distributing the mana to this mana pool and this mana pool. Now, this mana pool is used to uh this mana pool will be shooting towards the runic altar where this mana pool i'll be using to make um uh like batania items and stuff and we've still got our uh, little podium here i don't know if this worked no it didn't i made myself a water sigil to see if i could fill this up with uh that but it didn't work um so yeah this is the uh garden i'm not too sure what i'm gonna call it i have a uh rough idea what I want to call it. I want to call it like a satanic garden or something really cool. Um, but other than that then I haven't really done a lot apart from I checked out the beehive and we had made look at this honeycombs. We've got loads and loads of honeycombs so I want to try and make myself some um, some mead uh, this episode. Even if it's just young meat. So we need a honey pot. So that's flour. Have we got any clay? Ah, oh, we do. Awesome. Oh my god. I've already got some bricks here. Awesome. And I'm using a lava crystal. Okay. So this is what I did um, off camera. Yeah, smelt up all the clay. Why not? Um, so I want to make myself some mead. And I'm not entirely sure what else I want to do today. I just sort of left it open. Um, you know what? Let's make some... Uh, some pots now uh, and is that the recipe oh yeah oh awesome we're gonna need oh my god they don't stack okay then with this honey I think we do we put it no no, no we don't put it in the barrel how do we get mead um, mead bucket all right so it's water bottles and a bucket oh my god it's actually quite expensive okay so I'm gonna make a little sort of test run Okay, so we'll get that. We'll get ourselves a bucket as well. We've got plenty of buckets. Um, you know, I could do it like right here. I could go boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so a little update that they did to um, to Blood Magic is that when you put water down, it doesn't actually flow everywhere, which is kind of useful. Uh, let's do that. So we got ourselves a... Oh, is it an empty bucket? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 damn. Oh, that's an empty bucket. Oh, well. Um, I've totally forgotten the recipe. It's like that, and then... Are those water buckets full up? Oh, it's the water. It's those... Okay, I'm just ballsing this up. Hang on. If I just do something like this... Boom! Young meat. All right, so... What we do with this mead bucket is we put it into the barrel. Oh my god, there we go. Alright, sweet. Um, oh yeah, I had to rebind the key because I very silly rebound it to um, T, which is actually open up chat. So um, that was a little stupid of me, but it actually takes the bucket, I think. Oh no, it doesn't. Right, okay, so we've got some mead in there. Awesome. I'm going to be doing that. But to actually ferment it, we're going to need um, nether warts, I believe. 
Do we have any never warts? Let's see if there's an easy way of making it. Never warts. Okay. Oh, a blaze rod in that. Okay. A lot of witchery stuff. Alright, so it looks like we're just going to have to go to the nether and uh, get ourselves um, a some nether warts. Now, I did actually find... I think I found a fortress. Was it in this mod pack? I'm playing for another mod pack, which is basically... Um, just magic based so I'm not too sure um, what mod okay it looks like it was in the other mod pack where I found a fortress so we might not oh oh wait there's a fortress here okay that makes it easy um, right come at me blaze oh we got ourselves a blaze rod we can make some um, we can make some mag uh, Magma warts right now. Magma warts? That should be a thing. Um, we should make some never warts. And it gives me a chance to show up a Tanya as well. Cool. That was quite simple. Alright. I also want to try out this fresh water. What can I do with it? I can't drink it. There you go. Um, let's make our way over to the botanic, uh, satanic garden. And we're going to go this. No? Wait. I could have swore that was... So, a blaze rod. Oh, you need a catalyst. Ah, okay. That's, that's not too bad. I probably won't be able to do it this episode, but I'll make sure to get some never warts off camera and uh, set that up. So let's just dump all that in there. Dump all this stuff in here. I still got this active. No. Um, like so. I really need to have some sort of sorting system. Oh yeah, I also made a dolly so I could transport my chest, which was super useful. Um, but I think this episode, I think it's time that I get myself into electricity. So uh, I want to make some uh, wind turbines. If... Where are they? There we go, wind turbine. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure we're in the mud pack. Alright, so we're going to need to make ourselves a metallurgic uh, infuser. Um, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I wasn't spelling it right. That was it. Infuser. Okay, so we're going to have to make ourselves one of these. That's kind of simple. So yeah, I, I basically had a good old think, and I think it's time that we... Um, that we start getting some electricity because I've done quite a bit of magic and I think it's time for some power. So we're gonna make some power. Uh, cobblestone to make some furnaces. There we go. And boom, two. Two will do nicely. Oh, I also need to make myself a generator. Generator. Uh, I think it's like a furnace generator. Uh, apologies for my bad spelling. <laughs> um, I am so shattered at the moment, it's unreal. Okay, so we've got ourselves a block of iron. Uh, what else do we need? We need a furnace and some redstone. Oh, you know what? I think we have everything we need. Perfect, look at that. Alright, sweet. So I'm going to grab myself a stack of coal. going to go down to the basement. Uh, I might as well use my old setup. Uh, stick this here. Stack, stick that there. Um, I'm going to make a block of coal. Two blocks of coal to power this thing. Oh god, that's... No. No, I should have put coal in first so it had power. That's going to that's gonna have a little bit of power. It's gonna have a. It's gonna get a lot of power, but in a short period. Um, what should I do with this other one? I might as well like power it up as well. Oh, oh no, it's going straight into it. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, awesome. That was simple. Uh, so now that we've got that, we can now do a wind. Oh, damn it. There we go. All right, so we're going to need um, these some enriched alloys. So that is quite a bit of redstone and iron. Okay. 
Alright, so you put redstone here, iron here, and it infuses it together to make some enriched alloys. I also need to um, grab some gold as well. Oh, and also, um, literally, as I stopped filming last episode, guess what came out? Some dinosaur DNA. So, um, basically, I found this dinosaur, um, Skakrocious DNA. Oh, there we go, got some achieves. And now we have that, I think we can put... Oh, we have another Gallimimus. Oh, okay, so we can put it in there, and it will use up these bones to slowly process... Uh, this DNA into I think an egg I think it puts it into an egg but I'm not entirely sure um, okay so we've got four of those um, right okay so it's gold redstone okay so gold ah redstone that's what I'm missing redstone like this I'm gonna need two of these uh, boom, 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 boom. Nice. Okay, so two of those. Um, I'm just going to grab some more. Uh, what else do we need for this turbine? Uh, we're going to need... Okay, so osmium with redstone. Alright, okay. So that's... I think that's new. I think that's a new recipe. Uh, before you could just sort of, like, craft them. So if I put, like, I don't know, like, three in there, and then three bits of osmium... Alright, sweet. Uh, that's not fermenting just yet. I also had to make some more tanks as well because I filled up my XP. Talking about XP, I might as well drain that. Uh, so hopefully by the end of this episode, we should have some power, which will be awesome. Alright, so we've got two of those. Two of those. Um, and I think it's boom, boom. Oh yeah, one wind turbine. Look at this. Awesome. So where I placed this last uh, season in Guild Craft 1 is I actually placed it on the hill just uh, next to my house. Uh, which I'm thinking of placing it again. So uh, if I place it, I don't know, like here. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Oh, oh god. Uh, I will come to eventually move these wind turbines to a better location, but for now I think this is good. Uh, so let's get my paxel out. Dig down here. Uh, what's this cobble? Is this something that I've filled up in the past? Aha! Ah, uh, yeah, it goes into my basement. Look at this. Alright, okay, cool. Uh, let's dig up this iron as well. Oh, hello. Broke. Oh. Oh, I got a vial. A broken vial. Okay. Oh. Cool. And then that will eventually uh, feed us power, but we need to make some uh, some cable first. So, leadstone conduits. Or, oh, oh, they've changed leadstone flux ducts. Duct. Okay, they changed the, uh, what they're called. See, this is all new to me, because I haven't really explored... Um, <clears throat> I haven't really explored um, 1.7.10. So this is all kind of new to me, so I'm going to be learning as we go along, which is kind of interesting. So we'll put the DNA in there. Um, we'll put the water buckets in there. Okay. Alright, so I think we're ready to make this. So it's lead, redstone, and glass. Do I have any glass, or did I make it into bottles? I made it all into bottles. Okay, fantastic. Uh, but I can grab myself some lead and some redstone. Now this is only like the lowest tier of um, conduit, I'm just going to call it for now. Um, but I will eventually come to upgrade this uh, and use the uh, mechanism equivalent which is um, just energy pipes I think and possibly wireless energy. When I, when I go back into the castle I want to invest in wireless energy. I think that would be super cool. Um, Let's shut my door and let's make some more flower pots for my honey. Where did I put my honey? There it is. Oh, it actually gives us back the um It gives us back the pots. That's kinda cool. 
Uh, not the pots, the empty honeycomb. Oh, that's, that's really cool, actually. Uh, okay, so we got this honey. I, I don't know what to do with this honey. Uh, I'm just going to dump in here for now, because I'm going to sort out fermenting... Um, I'm going to sort out fermenting behind the scenes. But I want to get some electricity. Okay, 18 uh, flux ducks. That should be enough. I hope. <coughs> Alright, so how this will work is that I'm going to... Um, as you can see, this has generated um, a little bit of power. I mean, I mean, wind turbines can generate power, but not a lot. The higher they are, the be better they are. So this isn't the most efficient, but it will do for now. And I'm just going to feed this cable from the um, wind turbine to my machines. So I can just feed it down like so. This is really efficient, but we can get it to there. Okay. You know what? I might have to move my machines out here. Is it worth me making a crescent hammer? Yeah, sure, it's just tin and iron. <coughs> okay, was it just one piece of tin? Yes, it was. Okay, cool. Uh, now, with a crescent hammer, it allows me to pick up objects. Now, I'm just going to quickly take everything out. Because I don't want the game to crash, because these things can crash the game. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to plonk these here like that so they have power. And this is sort of like backup power now. Sweet. So that's going pretty well. Um, now I, I now we've got ourselves some power. That's amazing. Uh, now there was one thing which I did want to look into. My pickaxe is quite low. And I wanted to look into uh, a repair talisman. So, a repair talisman will basically repair my uh, items, I think, if I'm holding it. If I remember correctly. So, we're going to need uh, charcoal. Oh, okay. And cobble. Uh, let's do that. Smelt up some of you. And we've got ourselves some cobble. That's no... Well... We're not, we haven't got unlimited cobble, but we've got a fair amount. Uh, we're also going to need redstone and iron, which I just so happen to have on me. There we go. Uh, and also a diamond and coal. Alright, boom. So we got the four different types of dust. Um, sorry, I, it's probably going to sound really weird, but I'm coughing, so I'm going to mute it out. Because um, you guys don't want to hear me cough. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I am really ill, but I'm trying my best to like record. So, there we go, a repair talisman. Now, I think if I have this on my hotbar, it will... Okay, so 150... Oh, there we go! You can actually see it repairing, and it repairs really quickly. Oh, and it does my armor as well. So as you can see, the value, it says duration, but um, it also, um, you can also see the value as well. Holy hell, I'm so glad I made that early on, because these are soul bound. So if I can keep these for as long as possible, that would be amazing. Um, wow, that's, that's amazing. Does it work? Um, it works in my inventory as well. That is a mind blown. That is completely mind blown. Let's see what else we can make from Project E. Um, we could make ourselves now. Uh, uh, either this episode, or next episode, probably next episode. I want to work my way up to an energy condenser. As you can see, it's quite a lot. But I think this episode we could make ourselves an alchem alchemy 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 alchemical chest alchemical. I can say it. It's been a long day for me. But we want to make this chest, a Project E chest. Um, so I'm going to need some smooth stone, some iron, and a normal chest itself. 
Um, I am. I haven't got a lot of inventory space, so I'm gonna have to dump some stuff. Uh, boom, boom. Uh, do I need redstone for this? No. But I will need smooth stone. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm getting myself some smooth stone. Uh, iron and a diamond. Okay. We have iron. And we have a diamond. So... I think that's everything we would need. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, that's everything. Boom. Storage upgrades. Now, basically, I, c I will upgrade this next episode. I need to find myself a diamond. But I will be able to upgrade this into a energy condenser. <clears throat> now, the energy condenser is considered the cheat machine uh, of this mod. But for now, I'm just going to chuck this down. I want to use the basement a bit more. So I'm going to chuck it down right here. And as you can see, it has a massive, massive storage. Massive. Now, I'm not going to use this pure, purely because I'm going to upgrade it next episode. But it's there. And um, we're eventually, like the cheat machine, I'm making it early on because it's going to make my life so much easier. Uh, I won't have to go out and get like... Uh, some resources. Basically, it's like a copy and paste thing. So next episode, um, I will definitely, definitely try and show that. Now, here comes my favourite part of the um, series, which is adding the statue. Uh, it's coming to the end of this episode, and I need to add a statue. Now, I have someone in mind. He is a massive fan of the series. He has watched uh, season one and season two. He's keeping up to date. And um, I think he deserves a statue in the Hall of Heroes. So let's just grab that and that. Uh, and after Mitch being our last contester, I think we will put the statue here next to Omega Alpha Hydra. Uh, and just copy and paste it in. Omega T. Uh, I think I pronounced him that right. Omega T. Um, hopefully I am. You will be in the new... The new statue in the Hall of Fame. So let's find... Oh, that's quite a cool pose, actually. Yeah, I like that. Let, let's have that. And boom. Wait. Palette. Nice. I'm, re I'm not too sure if the face is meant to be like that, but it's kind of cool. I like the uh, hoodie and everything. It gives a cool effect. So the statue is not complete until we've actually put the um, name on. And... Boom. Omega T, welcome. You you suggested that you wanted to hold a piece of sugar cane. There it is. So welcome to the Hall of Heroes. There is now six of you guys. Make sure to leave your Minecraft name in the comments below. Also, what item you want to hold. If you don't suggest an item and I know your, what your personality is, I will add an item. So like Hassan, I know him in real life. I gave him a nice golden crown as he's king. Um... But please make sure to uh, leave what item you want so I can add it to your statue. But I think that's all my throat can handle for this episode. So, yeah, I'm going to call it there for this episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Guilty Craft 2. It re really does mean a lot, all the support you've given me. And I will see you next time for more modded Minecraft. Gilton, signing out. Bye!